All right, so I'm gonna tell you how to make this classic, easy buttermilk biscuits recipe. Ingredients are simple. Four to six tablespoons of cold butter or shortening, one cold cup of buttermilk or a buttermilk substitute, two cups of self-rising flour, and if you're smart, you're gonna get that old classic cast iron skillet. If you're here for the first time, make sure you subscribe, y'all. All All right, we're already into it. First, you're gonna put your self-rising flour in a bowl, okay? Make sure your bowl is big enough to mix around. Then, with your buttermilk, in this case, I'm using homemade buttermilk or a DIY. You're gonna need a cup of milk at room temperature with two tablespoons of lemon juice. After about 20 minutes, chill it down. Make sure it's chilled now. The key is keeping all your ingredients as cold as possible. Now, you could actually go with all butter instead of the butter and shortening route, but I find that shortening makes a lot fluffier, flakier biscuits. So what I usually do is I use two tablespoons of shortening, four tablespoons of butter, you see? You kind of mix it, or you can just do six tablespoons of butter and you're good. But the key is make sure it's cold, ice cold, pretty much frozen if you can get it frozen. Now, I'm gonna take this here, that's my pastry cutter. You see that? It cuts up all that butter. The butter is extremely cold, pretty much frozen. What you want is you want to cut up that butter into flakes, okay? You see it? It's like little crumbled frozen butter bits in there. You want that, you need that, okay? That's where it's going to melt all inside. Now, I've already poured in the buttermilk, okay? At this point, once you pour in that buttermilk after you make those, made the butter pieces into little tiny flakes, you pour in your buttermilk and you just mix it. You see what it, you see how it looks? It's not totally combined. Just a loose, rough mix. Do not overmix it. You overmix it, your biscuit's gonna come out flat. Now, we're gonna get a surface. I didn't have to use a cutting board, and I shouldn't have used it. I should have used my main surface, but hey, that's what I used because I, was th- I wasn't thinking. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour our dough, our biscuit dough, right on top of that cutting board that's floured out. I'm still using self-rising flour right here, okay? What's gonna happen is you're gonna be essentially inc- incorporating a little bit more flour as you smash out and fold your dough. Now, most people can use a, a, a rolling pin, but in this case, look, I just floured it, took some wax paper, just dropped it on it, combined it all together, smashed it out. You're gonna see that now. Real easy way to get down if you don't have a rolling pin and you don't have to actually roll out a dough. You see? That's all we did. And you can take a piece of plastic, or in this case, what I used was a dough scraper to flip and fold this dough. You see, there you go. Slip it under, flip and fold it over. Now, each time you flip and fold it, that becomes a layer inside of your biscuits. If you take a biscuit and cut it down in half and look at it, you're gonna, you probably should see layers. Each layer is exactly where somebody folded that dough over or some machine did. And in truth, the less you fold them, the more I notice they come out a little bit better. You only need to fold them about three times at max. You can fold it a lot more if you want. You'll get a flakier crust with more layers, but I find it's not really necessary to get to where you're going. I overfold it, as you can see. But hey, I'm telling you, it came out great. I got no complaints and it tasted delicious, y'all. These are the kind of biscuits that you can take and you make a sausage gravy or a beef gravy a thick, heavy amount of beef gravy in a pot and you just make these biscuits and drop them in there and you got a, a biscuit and gravy type deal. Easy way to get over and make dinner real fast. So then I take my two, two and a half inch, two and a quarter inch round cutters, circular, circular cutters here, and you just cut out your biscuits. Yeah, you can do them as thick as you want. In my case, I wanted them only this thick for here. And that was very intentional. So what do you do with all that excess dough that you can't make another biscuit cutting out of? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna recombine it and make a new shape, new roll of dough. And then you're gonna make some more cuttings out of it. It's real easy, it's almost therapeutic when you're making biscuits for some reason because you just take, you went from flour into something special. Now at this point, what you wanna do when you're just about done, you wanna make sure you got a cast iron skillet good and greased up gotta grease up that skillet y'all right look at that see you need all that then you're gonna go ahead and 
bring your biscuit and put it on in that skillet. Once you got them all lined up in full, even if you got the big one in the middle, you go ahead and make sure you get your oven preheated. Now, preheat your oven before you get your biscuits in there. So that way, as soon as you put it in, there you go. And after about 16 minutes, or in your case, until golden, you go ahead and pull them out. You give them a slight wiping with butter, and then you can put them back in, or if you feel they're done, they're done. In my case, 16 minutes at 400 degrees, these were done. Look at that, perfect biscuits. Self-rising flour, lemon, milk, butter. That's all you need. That's all you need. You can do this. Look how easy that is, y'all. Look, you see it. Hit that subscribe button at the bottom right. Come on, you know I need you. Look at that. Look at those layers. You can see them right from the side of it. Multi-layer, flaky, sticky. Look at it. Oh, man. It's got this buttery taste to it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at getting close. You know you want that. You ever make biscuits that good? Hmm? Have you? Your mama ever make biscuits like that? You know she did. If she did, you know I'd have been over your house. Take a look at that. Look at them layers. Man. Tastes butter like butter all the way through. Flaky. We're done, y'all. That's it. Hey, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I need y'all. I'm out.